Hey, Summit County, thanks for joining us. I'm Andy, and you are watching TV8 Summit. I've got Haley here from the town of Breckenridge, and we are hanging out down here on location near the Riverwalk Center, Bluebird Plaza area behind us here. It is a gorgeous day here in Breck, Bluebird Day. We've got people coming in, and it's hard to believe it, but spring break is around the corner. We should say spring break month, because each week in March, there is a lot of stuff going on. we got Mardi Gras, too, and that brings in hordes of people sometimes, right? Yeah, you know, we're really getting into the season where it's the best time to be in Breckenridge. You know, I think I seriously look forward to spring forward daylight savings time, which mm -hmm. is coming up. Uh, but, you know, it is just a wonderful time to be here. It's warm. Um, it's still snowy. It's beautiful. So uh, and people are on spring break. So we do have a lot of people coming into town um, and it can get, you know, a little bit busy. And so I think there um, are a few things people should know if they're coming to visit about how to just make their time in Breckenridge as smooth as possible during this March and April season. So one of the first things is parking. I know that's mm -hmm. always a topic in town, um, but as you're driving in, you're going to see this big sign. It's a digital sign that will tell you what parking lots are open and which ones are closed or full. And so really pay attention to that because that's going to save you a lot of time circling around and give you more time downtown. You can also download our Passport Parking app, which wherever you park in town, it makes it super easy to pay for parking. And you can update parking from your phone so you don't have to go back outside and check the meter. So if you're driving, those are a few things you really want to pay attention to. And if you are parking in one of the lots further out from town, you don't have to be worried about the distance because we have the Breck Free Ride that is so convenient. I mean, it really doesn't add any extra time to hop on the bus and let them do the driving for you. Exactly. We have an awesome bus system. And so if you don't feel like driving, you don't have to drive, which is a great part about being in town. Let us drive you around. If it's snowy or whatever, you know, you can download our My Free Ride app. And if you go to breckfreeride.com, you can uh, click through and find the app. But My Free Ride basically tells you when the bus is coming, where the bus is, um, and how long it's going to take to get you there. It actually will tell you how full the bus is as well. Well. Um, so you can see if you know maybe a bus is really full you'll just wait till the next one but it's such a nice amenity and we really want to just make it so easy for people to get around. And you know we have this uh, great downtown area where once you're in town it really is pretty accessible to get anywhere you might need to go and on a beautiful day like this why not walk? <laughs> yeah I mean we have done a lot of walkability updates which is really cool we've put in a ton of heated sidewalks and a ton of new lighting so really wherever you are in town you can probably walk there. You know, and as the snow's melting too, we just want to remind folks to try to keep the town clean as well mm -hmm. and, you know, make sure that trash doesn't get buried out there. Yeah, we have a bunch of recycling and trash cans along Main Street, so um, pay attention to the signage of what you can recycle and what you can't. Um, but really, if you follow those three tips, you're going to have a really seamless, easy time in Breckenridge. Well, it is a beautiful time to be down here in Breck, so stop on down and we'll see you out there.